Hello, it's Con Jackson poolside for the big wrap up. We're here at day four, the finale of the Western Athletic Conference Swimming and Diving Championships for 2014. It's been a pleasure to be with you to watch these athletes perform at their very best at the most critical time. If we could get a pan of this pool, you can see the gorgeous facility that is hosting this. It's called the Palo Alto College Aquatic Center in San Antonio. Congratulations to the swimmers, the supporters, the fans, the families that have gotten them here today. We've took time to get around and talk to some of the coaches, but most importantly, the athletes, the champions themselves. Let's take a look. What do people are gonna want your beauty secrets? Tell us the key to the blue hair. Oh, the blue hair, yeah, you just wear it and, and let it be, be yourself and go lumberjacks, go jacks. What is it about platform that brings out the best in New Mexico State's divers? Oh, platform is just a great event. I mean, it's one of those events that we don't get to train a whole lot. So, um, you know, it's, it's fun to compete. There's a little bit of pressure taken off. Coach, Northern Arizona has been diving so well. What's been the key to your success? You know, the ladies just really work hard, and I'm really proud of them. We've conquered a lot of adversity this year, and we're just trying to do everything we can to help out the team and do well in the finals. Um, I think it's the uh, most exciting event for everyone to watch, and I think they just, uh, deep down, every diver loves to be watched a little bit. So I think everyone's just kind of pumped up to get up on the platforms and hear all the oohs and ahs and get to see their family watch them dive up there. Idaho divers in the house. Tell us about the championships you guys are racking up here. Well, we're very excited about it. They're diving better than they have ever in school history. We've uh, gotten a new one meter and three meter school record and had more girls in the finals than ever before. We're a very strong platform team, so I'm looking forward to platform today. Your favorite in the platform, what is it about the height that you love so much? Um, the fact that I have time to fall. <laughs> I guess is the main thing that I guess I I mean one meter three meter you have sh a shorter amount of time to fall and like make a correction but like on tower you have more time to think and so I don't know I like tower. <laughs> Marin two time WAC champion one meter three meter how did you do it? Oh my gosh it's crazy I still can't really believe it it still hasn't really hit me yet but I'm just so excited I can't yeah I literally can't believe it. What is it about being? at the highest level of pressure and executing as well as you've been doing. You know, I just really, like I said, went back to the basics and I just dove for myself this time. You know, I just really wanted to have fun and enjoy my life, like it's my senior year, and go out with a bang and just leave all the thoughts out and just dive, like just do what I do every day and just have some fun and that's exactly what I did and I was just so in the zone and hitting dive after dive, I just didn't even think about it. It was crazy. I got done and was like, what just happened? So it was exciting. Well, what just happened is whack double champion. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're looking at two of the members of the Grand Canyon champion, WAC champions in the relay. How is it that you guys go so fast in the relays? Uh, well, it's our first time in D1 and at the WAC, and we just wanted to come and make a statement that we can beat everyone else, and so far we've done it, and it's been a lot of fun. We're excited. What is the excitement like of being in a relay? The crowd is crazy. The introduction through the tunnel, what is that like? Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, even re-watching it on video, like, you know the outcome, but it's still so, like, it is. high it's tension. Still, <laughs> oh, it's so intense. <laughs> Where can you find a WAC champion? But in the ice pool, congratulations on your swim last night for a championship. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What was the key to the, your speed in the breaststroke? Oh, I don't know. I just went out there and just did my thing. I had to hold my title, so I was pretty pumped for it listen to some music before it, so I was just ready to go. So what was the song that got you in the zone? Uh, it's called uh, Express Yourself by Diplo. And you did that, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> and Ricky, whack record, pool record, whack champion, how does it feel? Feels good. My, my swim was really nice. I changed my, the, the strategy from this mor the morning that I did the 47.3, and was way better, 46.5. So what did you change? I, my first 50 was a little bit slower, so I could come back the last 50 faster. Well, another area you were fast in the pool was with the UNLV Rebels relay team last night. Another WAC record, another pool record. What's it like swimming on a relay? In the relay, it's a different like atmosphere. Like you are way more 
excited to swim and like so doesn't matter if you're tired you're gonna swim faster that's what I think Northern Arizona in the house placing three in the A finals what is it about the butterfly that you guys excel at so well um, I think I have some really good training partners these two especially we've had a really hard year of training and basing off these girls in practice has really made my butterfly so much better what's it about this team that allows you to excel so well oh my god uh, well pretty much it's just 30 best friends it's, it's a whole second family and I just I feel so blessed to be here um, I'm a senior and I'm just so excited that I'm even in an A Final, so to be there with my two of my best friends is awesome. So I'm just really excited. What's it like to hear you're in the A final? It's so good. That's what we work for every morning. We're trying to get as many as we can in the A final. So just to know that I can help out my team and get so many points by being that A final, I'm just stoked about it. So. How long did you work on that accent? <laughs> well, I'm actually from New Zealand, so it comes naturally. But. <laughs> What's Northern Arizona like to a New Zealander? I couldn't have chosen a better place. It's like having a family away from my real family. So I'm so grateful that I came here. I've been a great job in the championships. What's it like swimming with Wyoming? Oh, it's great. Love it. Love the Cowboys. What about swimming for Grand Canyon that brings out your best? Uh, swimming for Grand Canyon actually, I think, changed my life because I came here four years ago. So I'm a senior now and I think I've matured, I've developed, and I saw a lot of personal growth as well. So I think Grand Canyon really uh, brought a lot of, I would say, benefit into my life and so my personal, professional sports development, and I really appreciate it. Nikki, what is it about Seattle University that brings out the best in you? Um, I'd say definitely our team spirit. I love our team atmosphere and we're always so supportive of one another and yeah, it's been really fun this week. So how do you get pumped up for your race? Do you listen to music? Um, usually I listen to music and I also talk to my teammates. Um, we just get each other fired up and we have funny quotes that we say to each other and yeah. <laughs> Which one of the quotes do you say to other people? Um, well, um, there's this Snickers commercial, um, and at the end, they always, um, Robin Williams says, like, we will win this for Mother Russia, so we always tell each other that before our races. I don't know, it gets us going. Well, it's working in the pool. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We got a sparkling headband, but you're sparkling in the pool. What is it that brings out the best in you in the championship? I think it's just my... It's my senior year, so I think I'm just going all out and doing the best that I can. Now, I know you're out of the Air Force and a cadet, but how did you end up liking the water so much? Uh, I've been swimming since I was little, but yeah, I mean, when we got to swim the other service academies, uh, compete against them, you know, watching how Navy's doing, it's, it's I mean, I'm in the air, but, but uh, we like to compete with the guys at, at the Naval Academy, too. So That's awesome. Yeah. What's it like being part of the WAC? It's awesome, yeah. I've, you know, when I was younger, uh, I knew Air Force used to be in the WAC, and then we went to Mountain West. So being my, a senior here and coming back to the WAC has been awesome. So it's it's awesome. Great, Emma, you're swimming a mile. One of the favorites. Do you just love being in the water that much? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I love swimming. So, but no, I like the mile. It's it's a different race, and I guess we kind of have like the strongest. We have a the distance girls think that the strongest swimmers do the mile. So. We kind of think we're a little cool, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you, uh, how do you get ready for the race? What music do you listen to? Uh, I listen to anything pump up. Actually, sometimes before the mile, I kind of listen to some slower stuff to, to try and calm down. I get really nervous. <laughs> but uh, so Beethoven, Bach? Uh, not quite that level. <laughs> Maybe like John Legend, but okay. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure to host these four days and have you watch, whether it was on the live feed or these edited pieces. Thank you to the entire WAC, in particular the staff that makes this possible. You athletes that brought the excitement, the fans that brought the energy, thank you. God bless, and we'll see you next year right here at the WAC Championships.